One last topic in this unit on installing Cassandra and getting it running is where the log file is. Where is the system.log file? Let's open up a new terminal window and let's do a change directory slash var slash log slash Cassandra. Let's do an ls to see the contents of that directory. There it is, our system.log file. If we'd like to see the contents of it, let's use vim. So vim system.log. And if we scroll down, we can see the various events that have gone on since we started Cassandra up. Let's quit out of here. So colon Q, enter. If we'd like to change where that file gets written to, let's say we did. I'm going to go to this terminal window where we're already at the directory where Cassandra's installed. And let's go down into where our configuration files are, which as you may recall, are in the cont folder. And if we do an ls in here, you can see the various files. The one that contains the settings for where our log file gets written is the log4j-server.properties file. Let's take a look at that. vim log4j-server.properties. You can view that in our text editor. And if we scroll down a bit in here, down on line 35, we see this is where we could specify where that file gets written to. While we're here, let's also note that we can specify the logging level, and we can also specify the maximum file size. So this movie was on how to access the log file, which as we see by default is under var slash log slash Cassandra slash system.log.